I am here to do a book on National Geographic's Little Kids' First Big Book of Books. I have a big collection of them. I did a video a while back on them. We've gotten some more, so I decided to show all of them again in the video. This is, a, this is the latest one we got. It's Big Book of Pets. My son's been asking for a pet kitty, so I decided to get this book to teach him about pet kitties. This book is pretty cool. It does what to pet, about taking it to the vet. Dogs, cats, other furry animals like rabbits, guinea pigs, hamsters, uh, rats, gerbils, horses, all kinds of pets. Lizards, every kind of pet that you could possibly get, it will talk about in this book. It's pretty cool when you read, like, the veterinary part is really cool, and also, um, like when you read about kitties, or it's when you read about kitties, it will tell you the basic needs, like food, water bowl, clean. It will show you what each pet basic needs are. How to take care of it, how to train it. It will show the different breeds of cats and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Do eat every animal. So if you, if any way you want to be a veterinarian or worry about different pets or want a pet, this is a good book to get because then you could um teach them about pets and before you get one. How do you, how do you, how do you recommend this book? Well, the next book I will be showing you is the weather book. I got this when we were having all those warnings for hurricanes and stuff in Florida and here and stuff, which I was really nervous about, so I thought I got to get this book to teach them, and it teaches about different kinds of weather, like all kinds of weather. Any weather you could think about is in this book, and the graphics are really cool. Um, let's find one. Let's find a really cool picture, like, like here's a dust storm. Oh, we have windstorm. Other stuff. So it's pretty cool. It teaches them a lot of stuff. My son learned a whole lot, and it really helped calm him down to worry about the hurricane before it hit, before it came towards us. This is a favorite in our house, the Big Book of Animal. Every time we study about an animal, I will bring this book out, and I will read a little bit more about the animal. I even sent this book to Lauren Brazy's kid from YouTube kid because she had a meltdown in the store because they were going to a store that didn't have animals. And I thought maybe having this book would help her learn about animals, can look at animals in this book and get better about going to stores that don't have what she wants to look at. Um, I got this one mostly for me because I love dinosaurs as a kid. We had a YouTube when we studied about dinosaurs and book shark. It's pretty cool. Or I use it every time somebody mentions a dinosaur that I've never seen before. I'll look in here because they have a whole bunch of different dinosaurs in here. Uh, when we study about ocean, we definitely use this book. It picks out different animals to study. The graphics are really awesome. This is a pretty cool book. Um, this book is not my favorite, but my son loves to learn about bugs. He doesn't love he doesn't love bugs like he loves bugs outside, but if they're in the house, he'll immediately tell me that bug's gonna be in the house and get rid of it. But outside he loves to look at bugs. And this is um Look about bugs. He loves butterflies, which is why the book automatically loves butterflies. It always does. It's like his favorite thing to look at. Um, so it's pretty cool. There's lots of different kinds of bugs in here. I have some really good ones. Uh, a friend of mine got him the little kid's first big book of birds. He loves to learn about birds. His favorite bird is a penguin. So you can see there are in here. It's just a really cool book. Um, this is the first first ever little kid's first big book uh, that we got. He was really, he's really into space. He goes through phases. He'll go through phases of being really into something, something, something. But space is the one that he always cycles back to. We got this one. And it's pretty cool. It he tells you even that does the dwarf planet. It talks about Probes have been sent out. It, it talks about going going to the moon. And this is my son's favorite planet. Mine is Mars, his is Uranus. Um, my friend also got him this book. The, the kids' first big book of why. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll give you an example. Like, it will tell you, you will ask a question and say, why do we have belly buttons? And it will explain why we have belly buttons. 
Any question you can think of will be in this book. Why do we have to brush our teeth? And then you can go further in. It's got, why do squirrels bury acorns? It's got these. It's a really cool book. Ask a bunch of why questions. It's pretty cool. We love these why books. We have one with, um, what's that? Is it serious? Um, um, fly guy. We have the fly guy, big book of why. It's pretty cool too. We really love these. Um, we also have the first book of the world. We talk about different places of the world. Whenever we talk about different places, I will pull this out and use it along with our national uh, geography. So this is pretty cool. And last but not least, Big Big of Who. And we've used this a lot. People will be studying about a different person. I'll just pull this out and be like, okay, we're studying about this person today. Here's a little more information about them. And I'll read this to him before we get into, like, say, a chapter book about them or a little picture book about them. I will read this first and give him a little more information before we start. So these are the books. And I plan to get the rest this fall for school so we can start using them more in school. So I really like them. I highly recommend National Geographic Kids, a little kid's first big book of. Oh, highly recommend these. If you can get them, get them. Yeah, sometimes we'll sell a smaller version of them, like for a dollar at the dollar store. If you're not, if you don't want to get the big one yet, you want to get a feel for it, you can do that. But I highly recommend these. And they're just coming out with with some new ones that I have on my list. There's ones about cars. There's ones about whatever you can think about. They'll have one. So I highly recommend these. Please go to your library and check them out and and see if there's something you would get. Because we did that and we ended up. Buying one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We ended up buying eleven of them, and that's not even the whole collection yet. So I highly recommend these, and they're they're a nice size. So I highly, highly, highly recommend you get them. So thank you. Have a great day. Subscribe. Uh, uh like, comment. I would love to hear your comments about about these books if you have tried them or if you have tried one that I didn't show in this video tell me how awesome it is that I need to get it I'm planning to get more of these these after I'm planning to get more of these this summer so please if there's one I haven't shown please tell me about how you like it thank you have a great day